how to restart. This is Jeremiah 2 and 27. It says, oh, it says, uh, saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me and not their face. Uh -huh. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. See, it says, uh, read that again. It says, um, read the whole verse again. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 2 and 27, saying to a stock. Mm -hmm. Saying to a stock, thou, what? <clears throat> thou art my father, mm -hmm. and to a stone thou hast brought me forth. I'm trying to say to a stock and a stone thou art my father. So what's the modern day stock and a, the stock and a stone? In the past, the stock was a piece of wood that they would worship. They would carve into an idol and they would worship it. Mm -hmm. In the past, it was a stone that they would they cut into a figure and they would worship that, praying to that, giving reverence to that. You know, so now, in the modern times, they these people give reverence to celebrities. All right, these people give reverence to religious leaders, T.D. Fakes, Kruflo Hala. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people give reverence to people that are in positions of power or positions of influence, mm -hmm. and, but they're influencing them to do the wrong things. Or... The number one idol in the modern time is um, your belly, your own belly. You know, you listen to these influencers and you, you listen to them and they say, do you, do what you want to do. Do as thou wilt, regardless of whoever thinks differently. Yeah, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. The meaning of life is just about being happy. So if that's the meaning of life, to be happy, don't turn to the Lord. It's going, it's going to say it. Go ahead. Okay. It says... Uh... I'll continue on. It says, uh, thou has brought me forth, mm -hmm. for they have turned their back onto me and not their face. Because they listen to everything besides the Lord through the prophets. Mm -hmm. You only gonna learn through the prophets. All right, go ahead. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. Mm -hmm. But where are thy gods yep. th that thou has made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. See? And let them, let your God, whatever you pray, whatever you reverence, or whatever you uh, give your time and your effort to and your energy to, <coughs> that come up and save you, man. All right, keep that same energy because you're not thinking about your by Shem Yahushai. You're not giving him reverence. You're not giving him the praise and the glory and the honor. Mm -hmm. All right, for for bringing you through a way, you're giving you're giving the praise, glory, and honor to something else. So go ahead and give that same glory, honor to whatever you're giving it to now. Give it to him later when you're going through hell. All right, positions of difficulty. All right. Mm -hmm. I had a precept, yeah. if I could. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14. Um, I'll start at verse 12. Point being at 14. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 12. It says, for the devising of I oh, <laughs> 11, if I may. It says, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, mm -hmm. because in the creature of the Most High they are become an abomination. And stumbling blocks to the souls of men, mm -hmm. and a snare to the feet of the unwise. Stumbling blocks to the souls of men. Yep. <clears throat> and like you were saying, bro, now <clears throat> in the times that we live in, anything could be um, likened unto an idol. Whatever you put <clears throat> above Yahweh that that uh, mm -hmm. is not an actual the li that's not the actual living power is an idol. It let's, says. Let's, let's get that. We're gonna get it in the, gonna get it in the scripture. <coughs> Exodus twenty. Five. Yep. You got it. This is Exodus 20 and 4. It says, uh, I'm sorry, it's 20 and 1. It says, Exodus 21. And God spake to all these words, saying, I am the Lord thine God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt n have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the third, upon the third and the fourth and, and fourth generation of them that hate me. So that's the, that's the law. Mm -hmm. you know, that's after we came out of Egypt. That's the law. So that's what these people do. They they said when he when he, when he read Wisdom of Solomon fourteen eleven says, and because in the creature of God they are become an abominable abomination. What's the creature of God? We are. All right. So when you actually worship another 
uh, entity and gave them the power, you become abominably, abominable yourself mm -hmm. and stumbling blocks to the souls of men. So everybody you're teaching to the worship this image is become an abomination. And the stumbling block because they're gonna fall right with you. Yeah, they see you worshiping it. It's like, oh shit, there's got to be something about <laughs> what he's worshiping exactly. that's right. Especially if if you're uh, um, again, like you were saying, bro, like somebody that has that influence, somebody has that power. They look to you for the answers. Exactly, and that's when they become stumbling blocks to the souls of men, mm -hmm. and a snare, a trap to the feet of the unwise. Because not everybody in Israel is wise. You have some men that are brutish. But there's not to that's no reason for you to abhor them or look down upon them mm -hmm. or to beguile them. You know, you're supposed to build them up so they can become wise. We're all once simple. We're all once uh, as scripture says to cease the sub the sub uh subtility to the to the simple. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Uh, it was in Psalm 14, verse 12. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. The beginning of spirit. That's what started. That's what started with spiritual fornication was creating idols. <clears throat> yeah. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. The corruption of life. Life is what? The living scriptures. Yahweh the embody, uh, Yahweh was the embodiment of the scriptures. John, John 1 and 14. Go ahead. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. <laughs> For by the vainglory of men they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. To an end, because they're, they're, they're nothing but, you, if you carve a god out of a piece of wood, you just created that god just now. Mm -hmm. You you have more power, it goes on to say that you have more power than that god do. Because you borrowed your own life. Go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, for, for a father afflicted with untimely mourning when he had made an image of his child soon taken away, now honored him as a god, which was then a dead man, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Uh, thus, in a pr in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. And uh, yep, and, and time uh, it's a grown strong, an uh, ungodly custom grown in a process of time. So after so many years, it's grown strong because of the belief thereof. That's why you're not supposed to do that shit, man. You know, it says engraven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. And the commandments of kings. And you still see it to this day, man. You sure. have, uh, especially amongst the northern kingdom, when you have family members that die, what they set up them them altars or them groves or whatever, and light up the candles and shit, um, give whatever, put whatever on that altar with that that uh, dead family member, uh, mm -hmm. dead family member may have liked, or putting on some type of music, which, you know, what I'm saying not to say you can't. Um, uh, uh, give respects when respects is due. You know what I'm saying? Mourn in the time okay. when they're in the time of mourning for them seven days. But after that, man, there's no need to. You know what I'm saying? Go through and do all that extra shit because whether they know it or not, that's going off. Okay. Setting up them altars and shit, bowing down onto them, praying unto the angels. You're not supposed to do any of that. The Lord commanded us to to go to Him through His Son only. You know what that's I'm right. saying? And to look unto Him, not to pray unto idols, not to set up these idols and worship them. And, um, uh, and it said what? That therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Like it tells us in Isaiah, I believe it's 19, if I'm not mistaken. It said the idols were moved at his presence, loosely paraphrasing. So these idols that are set up, that man created, uh, even those that are worshiping idols, those that claim themselves to be idols, they're going to be destroyed when at the, at the presence of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua when he returns. I believe in the same chapter it says they are, they are, uh, they are slow to speak. They cannot walk. Mm. <clears throat> um, it's probably not in this chapter, but it's probably another one. I Ch believe it's, it's uh, seventeen. On oh, the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Because there's a few chapters that goes into yeah, the the I think it's seventeen. It says they are slow to speak. They cannot walk. Let me try to look it up. Uh, I'm not sure where it's at. Which can neither see, hear, nor walk. Yeah, where is that at? That's Re Revelation 9 and 20. Oh, no, that's another one. Where's my Solomon? Uh, Uh, let me see, I'm trying to... 
just use them keywords. I put walk and then see. Them. I put speak. It's uh, I know it's in Wisdom of Solomon. It's definitely in Wisdom of Solomon. Put in speak. Uh, though they no. It's Wisdom of Solomon. Um. Might be a different one. Being naked. But wisdom open the mouth of the dumb and make it fun to speak for the thing. Yeah, I hope my tongue is open when I speak. It says God has granted me to speak. Say go can't still make speak. Uh I think I'm I need my pocket for a salad here. Uh, let's just get let's just stick to the script because I I want, I want to get it but I can't I don't know where to. Gone back in oh where we got judges, judges ten and ten and fourteen. Or ten and thirteen judges. This is judges. <laughs> ten and thirteen it says yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. But we're we're the ones that's actually serving the Lord while we while we have liberty. Mm -hmm. We have we have the ability to do what's right. So we're serving the Lord while we have that ability. Like it says in Judges um, um, five and eleven. Let's grab that. We're the opposite of what these people are doing. We're giving the Lord his gratitude. Well, while we have time too, we're occupying until the Lord comes. While we have liberty. This is Judge, Judges 5 and 11. <laughs> they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing waters are the noise of archers and missiles. All right, and in the place of drawing water, it's, that's captivity. Because it says in Joshua that they were made hewers of wood and drawers of water. They were made tributaries. Mm -hmm. All right, it says... There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. We're rehearsing. We're practicing. But we're putting on a performance for the Lord. Because we have to perform the laws in order for the Lord to actually deem us worthy. In order for us to have faith, the gift of faith and the gift of the truth, we have to do what the Lord tells us to do in sincerity and in truth. All right? And in exchange for us, our deeds and us doing that, we, we're showing our works and we believe in our, we believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh so our works is backed up by our faith. So he's going to come and deliver us. It says, um, and it says, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of, of his villages, but yeah, of his villages in, in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord draw, uh, go down to the gates. So we're going to be delivered, man. All right. The Lord's gates is the scriptures, the words, all right, spiritually, because it says, he that waited for my gates uh, mm -hmm. shall seek me, you know. He that seek me early, watching daily at my gates. That's what it says Come. in, in uh, Proverbs 8, 32. But uh, after that, what was next? Um, second Edges 9. Come. Let me go there. Got second Edges 9, verse 9. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll start at... Uh, uh, seven, since you yeah, hit on it. Second Ezra 9 and verse 7. It's one of my favorites. It says, And everyone that shall be saved, mm -hmm. i.e. the elect, um, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils. It says, And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for for me from the beginning so it was already set in stone who was going to serve him yep. and be delivered you know before the foundations of the earth he had his chosen uh line out of his chosen line that we're going to receive salvation in these in these latter times it's absolutely right uh it says verse nine then shall they be in pitiful case who it says, which now have abused my ways. Abused my ways. They listen to the prophets. They have their own. They serve their own belly. They have their own <laughs> idols. So whatever you go and serve, man, when, when, they, when fear and dread come upon you, go cry to that idol or go cry to what you serve in your leisure. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the brothers like to say, I, I believe you are, I'd be saying it from time to time as well. 
basically any um your power is basically going to be tested in mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble. Yep. Whatever you may believe in is going to be tested in Jacob's trouble. And we know that anybody that is leaning upon you, how about Shemiah you Shai, you're not going to be confounded. You're not going to be forsaken. Uh, uh, um, what was that? Who would have ever put their trust in me was confounded? Lucy Paraphrase, was that? Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 2, I, I think. 2 or 1. God. But uh, continuing on, it says, um, And they that have cast them away, despitefully, shall dwell in torments. Dwell in torments, man. Damn. For such as in their life have received benefits. See, and such as they have, <laughs> have received benefits. Right? And have not known me. And have not known me. So you receive your benefits, but you're giving your praise to it. You're giving the praise to another power. Yeah. Yeah. It says, And they that have loathed my law. Well, they Even had. If it did come from the devil himself, man. It's still ugly. How about Shemuel Shabbat? Right. Uh, Proverbs 20, 21 and 20, 21 and 1. <coughs> God, it says, uh, While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. But despised it, man. You all right? Go ahead. The same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain. That's how we have to rejoice because of the truth, man, because it's such a gift. They say faith is a gift, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to rejoice and give the, the the praise and the credit to who it's due, to whom it's due. You know. Um, I have one more. This is uh, Second Ezra, fifteen. Jump it down. It says, um, "Little shall be so good, cheap." Mm. Is that further up in there? Is it uh might be the control of maybe fifteen or sixteen. I'm looking at eleven says I will bring in mighty hand on uh, Egypt. Woe into the world and then I dwell in the fourteen and says the sword and the destruction draw nine. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. There should be a sedition among men and invading one another. I this, have, is, this is the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. Can't. It says, and they shall regard their, they should not regard their kings and princes. In the course of the actions of standing in power, a man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able because there is. The victuals is in uh, 16. If you want that one. With the. Uh, Second Edge was 15? 16 and. 16, Salaki, I thought it was 15. 16, 16. Let's get that. 16 and. 15? Mm. Uh, the, the one you want is in 21. 21? Yeah, let's just jump to the point. Come on. Uh, no, this is. Uh, hey, it's 19. 19 is the point. Sorry, 19. Yeah. Come on, this is Second Edge 16 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Behold, famine and plague. Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So it's sent as scourges for amendment, even in Jacob's trouble. But these people don't want to get right. You know, then it, even in that time, it's going to be too late for most of them. You know, because they didn't take the time to build up any how about Shemiel or Shad to withstand this evil day. Go ahead. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. They, they, the ones that, the ones that the, the Lord put the demon on, they're not even going to turn from the wickedness to begin with. Right? Like, this reminds me of two. It links up with the... Uh, for, for, damn, I just, it just escaped me. But it said along the lines of, for more and more they deck their houses, the oh, more and more I will be angry with their sin. Huh. Loosely paraphrasing. Uh, I got to remember that one. I think it's... It might be in the this chapter... Because the more and more they they give they give uh, the credit to all these idols, man. That's not you have about Shemiel Ah, uh, yeah, this is it. Which one? Uh, second Ezra sixteen down at forty seven, because it said that they will not turn from their wickedness. Mm -hmm. It says, and they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, mm -hmm. the more will I be angry with them for their sins, <laughs> saith the Lord. <laughs> They weren't jury. <laughs> they put jury on the city. They put gold on the lamps. God. So jumping back, um, 20, 2nd Ezra 16 and 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, 
nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. See, even that, they're going to think, think themselves to be in a good case. Even when the chip come out, mm -hmm. they don't think because they got the chip, they in a good case. So the society don't go back to normal. It's just a new wave. It's just a new trend. We got to get in tune. All of that shit, man. The people going to actually think this is the new. This is the new. This is how this is technology. <laughs> technology right, is right. taking over. Yeah. And they, they're not going to think about the Lord coming back. They're not going to think about anything else. They don't. They don't think about filling their fucking bellies, man. That's all they think. That's all they gonna think about. But after the missiles come, then they gonna know it's over with. Yeah, because you, know? you think even in them times, because a lot of people know about the MOTB. Even your everyday Joe Schmo knows. Mm -hmm. Your your shit. Some Jakes, but a lot of these heathen know too. But um, you think when the, when this shit rolls out, there's gonna be people uh, continually probably warning you. Like, hey, bro, don't take that. You know, that's the MO. But they, they're not going to see it because they're going to be blinded. So the Lord don't want them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, there's a lot to be destroyed. There's a lot of death because a lot of people don't want to take the MOTB. They already know what it is. Mm -hmm. Whether you whether you follow the Israelites or not. Facts. That's how plain it is. The Lord made it so plain in Revelations. He said that, you know, no man should be able to buy or sell without this mark. That's that's how plain it is. But these people are <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> All right, and saw this, the Lord took his, the Lord took the spirit of knowledge from him. Yeah. You got a lot of people that's going to die with the sword because of their beliefs and their idols. But you got a lot of people that's going to take Esau's uh, 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 dainties, I yeah. should say. Yep. Esau's dainties and his money. All right. That they just, you know, they're going to they're gonna get hit with the missiles. It's going to go into it. Next two verses. Second Ezra 16 and 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. See, the sword is what the missiles, man. The destruction, the indignation of the Lord. So they're gonna they're gonna escape from hunger by doing what taking that chip. All right. No, well, facts. let's say let's say that you had a fucking bunker and you succeed in uh, escaping the chip. You in the wilderness. You know how to skin a deer. You know how to, you kept all these canned goods. You keeping all your family alive because because of you eating. So you survive the civil war. You survive the other people. All right, you survived the, uh, the 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 so-called karagma. I mean, not the so-called, but you you survived the karagma. Hey, the sword gonna destroy you, man. It ain't no getting around it. The Lord's gonna have for what He have. Go ahead. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, mm -hmm. and there shall be no man to comfort them. Because you ain't gonna be left. Yeah, there shall be none to comfort you. Because you ain't even gonna be here. You're gonna be obliter obliterated. Go ahead. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. That's right. There shall be no men left to till the earth and to sow it. That's right, and that was it. Because man, these 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 missiles that's coming, they're gonna come and they're gonna obliterate Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, Lake Superior. <laughs> they're gonna obliterate everything. So what, what do you think is gonna happen to you? Yeah. You know, but that was the point. The point was God. Hey man, whatever you serving in this modern day time, you serve that same power in a time where your affliction come. All right, because it, I promise you, it's not gonna save you. Thus saith the Lord. Our praise is speed to Yahweh. The Hawa Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakhadash. Bashem Rakhadash. Hey, till next time. Shalom. Shalom.